Hello and welcome to Plan4D video blog series Plan4D with experts. My name is Bernd Gerstenberger. I'm knowledge domain expert for AutoCAD and specialized toolset and escalation lead for AutoCAD Plan4D. Today's topic are the new features for AutoCAD Plan4D 2025. We have several new features to present. The new features will be presented in separate videos. In this video, I want to present several autographic improvements. We have four topics here. Auto creation dialog, architecture objects in autographic drawings, inheritance of 3D model layer scheme, and update multiple auto views using command line. Let us start with the first autographic improvement, the auto creation dialog. It is redesigned with a modern style. Look for the image at the right how it looks like now. But the most important points are the following three. It is possible to minimize the dialog now. It is possible to move a dialog now. Remember formerly it was always in the front in the middle of your screen till the auto generation was finished, even if you have worked in a different application like Word. Now it is possible to minimize and move it and it is also possible now to cancel the auto generation. One note here, these are great improvements but this means it is also possible to perform meanwhile some operations in plan 3D. This is not recommended. In case you need to perform some urgent operations, cancel your auto generation before. Let us see this in action. I am creating just as usual an autographic drawing. I'm placing it. And now this is a new dialog and note that I can move it. I can minimize it. I can expand it. Now another one. I'm placing it again. But this time I'm cancelling it. I'm getting this dialog, I'm clicking the close button and then it's cancelled. This command is also available in the context menu in Project Manager. Another autographic improvement in 2025 is that all architecture objects can be shown in autographic drawings like walls, doors, windows or floors. Note that for some objects you have to install additionally the AutoCAD plan for the update 2025.0.1. These effects, hatches and walls, top view or door open direction and architecture structural members. Note that for the last two items you have to turn on the new system variable plant auto AC top model. By default it is off. We are continuing with improvements for the graphic drawings inheritance of 3D model layer schemes. There are two topics here. The first one is about nested layers of nested blocks. Formerly, if you had, for example, an equipment with nested blocks and layers, everything was saved on one layer only. It was not possible in an autographic drawing to turn on or off, view or freeze the nested layers of the nested blocks separately. But with 2025, this is possible now. The second topic is that it's now possible to get the embedded layers of imported drawings from Advanced Steel, AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP into the autographic drawings. For both topics, you just have to check Use 3D Model Layers in Auto Generation Settings in Project Setup. Additionally, the system variable Plant Auto Use Model Layer States is fixed in 2025. If it is turned on, the layer states will be taken over as well. All these things enable you to set individual layer settings in autographic drawings like color, line type, on, off, jute, or frozen, etc. And this is possible 
regardless of the source of a model. Now let us see how it looks like. Here I am showing you an equipment with nested blocks and nested layers. In the model you will see in the layer manager that the blocks are saved in different layers which you can turn on or off separately. Using the purge command and switching to the non-purgeable items, I want to show that this block contains a lot of nested blocks. Now I'm opening project setup because before creating an autographic drawing, I have to ensure that one setting is set up. In the auto settings, there's a checkbox use 3D model layers. This check has to be checked. This is mandatory. To get the layer states as well into the autographic drawing, I have to turn on the system variable plant auto use model layer states. Now let us create an autographic drawing. It is done. You can see already the different colors. This is because all nested layers of the nested blocks are taken over and you can handle each layer separately in the autographic drawing. For example, by turning on or off the layers separately. Now let us look for AC objects. In this model, you can see an architecture drawing with architecture or components. Here you see a wall or a door or a window and so on. And each kind of component is saved on a different layer. In the layer manager you see the layers coming from architecture which I can handle separately by for example turning them on or off like usual. Just to get an impression about this architecture drawing. In the auto settings we have to ensure again that use 3D model layer is checked. Now let us create an autographic drawing. In the first glance you see already that all components are visible. Nothing is missing. And in Layer Manager, you can see that the layers of a model of the architecture drawings are taken over and you can handle them separately. We are not at the end of the autographic improvements. We have another one. With 2025, it is possible to update all auto views of an autographic drawing using the command line. This was already possible before by using the context menu in Project Manager, but now it is also possible to execute this task by the command line. Additionally, there is a new system variable, Plant Auto Silent Update, to allow automatic updates for all views bypassing any warning dialogs that may display. Plant Auto Silent Update is designed to ignore the following cases views that are already up to date, views without 3D models, original 3D models that consists of any proxy objects. Both together, the new possibility to run update for all auto views using the command line and the new system variable to suppress the warnings enables user to execute the updates of all auto views by scripting. Let us see this in action. I'm typing into the command line plant auto update and here you can see the new option all. This will update all free auto views 
For each auto view, the auto generation dialog will be shown separately. This means in this example, we will see this dialog three times. And when it's done. So this was about the autographic improvements. I hope it is useful for you. And this is what I want to present in this part of a series about new features of AutoCAD Plan 3D in 2025 today. I'm looking for your comments to this video. Thank you for your time and goodbye.